Right, so this is the 18i20 and all of the other videos I've seen have just kind of given me a list of the specs and that's great because it made me buy it because it seemed too good to be true and it isn't too good to be true, it's just true and this is why, you know, you've got the gain here at this level, I'll turn it right up for you and yeah, there's noise because you've got gain the whole way up, don't be ridiculous, it's not going to be silent unless you're spending a lot of money, but for £400 it's pretty sweet, it's the same story for each of these, so that's pretty good, and also on your inputs you have, you know, your standard phantom powers, and you can choose your instrument, and then you got two pads, but only on the first two inputs, there's none on the back at all, which I will show you in a second, but over here, yeah, you've got your pots for master output, your dim and your mute, so if you want to have a conversation, not that I'm ever really going to use that one, but it's a nice option. Mute is better. Um, and then, yeah, headphones, which you can also reroute and mix using this, if I can click it, yeah, that. This is the kind of little bit of software that it comes with, the control software, and you can route the inputs directly to any outputs with any panning and level. You basically, do your own submixes within this, so not even using your door, which... I'm using Cubase, so don't hate on that, but it's my thing. So also what comes with it are some cheeky little plugins. You get a compressor, uh, an EQ, a gate, and you need to register these, which I've not got around to. I think I've done the compressor only, and it's pretty simple. Uh, basically, along with the drivers and any other kind of software that you need for this thing, you get a little piece of paper that sends you to a website, you put in a code that's on the paper to register your item and boom you've got your drivers and you get your three bits of software uh, and I say three because one of them is Ableton Live which I didn't download because I don't really have an interest in using it but the other thing is this little bad boy which is uh, the base station Novation base station cheeky little rhyme there and I like it it looks pretty badass and yet to use it but looks the part I've heard about it read about it it's pretty cool and I've stopped recording voice ah that's really annoying um oh well I clicked on the novation you saw it and it started recording on the wrong track bit of a rookie mistake but as far as what it looks like when you get it you get this box over here and I don't know why I'm showing you the box but you get a box that the box is in and then the box that the boxes are in so um, it's pretty cool. Um, I'll just show you the back, and that's probably all you need to know. Um, just nothing, nothing greatly interesting about it, and just a lot of outputs and the expansion for Spidiff, so you can attach more inputs if you want. And yeah, I just look forward to using this, and I hope that I've helped some people out by showing them that it works. So definitely go and get it. Four hundred pounds in the UK. I don't know what the conversion rates are, so. US dollars, God knows, Canadian dollars, God knows, yen, God knows, if there is a God, that is, I'm kind of being quite ambiguous with this, my point is, is the whole thing stopped recording now, they're really annoying, I'm going to have to just use the audio off the camera, which kind of defeats the point here, but at least I got the gain stage bit, thank you for listening, and yeah, just purchase this item if you want it, because it does what it says on the tin.